Uh, is this thing on? Yes, it is. Hello, everyone. Mark Joe 1990 here, and welcome to Requestorama Week 2. Oh, man. As I said on, I believe, August 8th, I want you guys to send me requests on my board, and you guys did. I really appreciate that. Thank you guys for all the support. Um, and now we get to do Requestorama Week. Now, for those of you who didn't see that video, basically what it is is I have people post requests on my forum. You can have a title that has nothing to do with your actual request. And if I click on your topic, I have to do the request no matter what, unless it breaks the rules. And there are some rules. You can you are not allowed to spam your own thread with replies, and you're not a i have to make another request until the first is finished, and you can't request all these stuff. And if you do, I hit you with a rubber fish. You hear that, ladies and gentlemen? You don't want to know what it's like to be hit with a rubber fish. Anyway, let's get this show on the road now, shall we? It's been a minute and almost a half. Uh, eeny meeny, <laughs> miny mo. Um, a game with a bunny girl. Should I do? Yeah, you know what? Let's let's. I'll bite. I want you to play a game called Irasu Syndrome, and that's by Lol Neon Cat 101. All right, I'm gonna go download the game now. Freaky ass Japanese puzzle game. Oh, damn it! People and their damn like creepy stuff. Ooh, there's the link. Oh man, look at this! I'm playing the. G Fuck. Damn it, now I gotta- oh. Oh! Wow, I feel like a special ed now. Uh, that looks like download. Uh, ah! There we go! You know what, I should probably- I should probably reply to this guy, alright. In fact, I'm recording myself typing this out to you. Penguin face. And here we are! Uh, what's this game called? Whoa, it like reacts to me putting my finger on it. Hooray! Okay, so this is Irasu Syndrome or whatever the hell it is. I, I can only assume that was new game. Oh wow, amazing. I get to throw blocks all over the place. This is not creepy. Really, how is this creepy in any way? I don't know how to play this game, and I looked at the readme and it's like, oh! This is in a different language! Too bad, Pumpkin Supreme. I guess you'll have to find your princess in another Denny's. Uh, did I win? Uh, what? Okay, so I earned a CG. Oh man, it's visual novelty. What's this? Quit the game. Oh, that's my score. This is. Can I click on her? No, I can't. Alright, so let's figure out how to play this game, actually. Alright, so I guess I gotta match the thingies up. Or make them go up here. Or wait, what if I knock them out? Does that cause anything? I guess not. Ooh, it has all... pleasant e music. Alright, I'm gonna knock this thing over here. Yeah! Take that, evil red square! That'll teach you to invade my bucket of white stuff. No, don't destroy my things. I have to live with those things. They're like your next door neighbors. You don't have to like them, but you gotta live with them. All right, so I'm guessing this is how I'm supposed to play the game since it's working and not making me lose or exit the game. So, oh, derp, 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 derp. no, come on, here you go. There you go, Pumpkin- uh, I mean, Mr. Blue Square. You can find your way out of any situation with the help of white squares, saving your life. So, is this getting creepy yet? Is it creepy yet? I don't know. It doesn't seem very creepy yet. Come on. Get, I need to get all this shit out of here. No. No. Oh. I, I think I lost. Oh no! He's telling a scary story! Whatever will I do? Alright, so I, I... Wait, wait, where's the CGs? Okay, so I got that one. So now I gotta get more of these. I wonder what this one is. Oh well, I'll have to figure it out somehow. Using my amazing powers of shooting white blocks up into the sky! 
like a bird or a plane or Superman. Actually, you know what? Maybe not like Superman, but like a popsicle stick. You know how popsicle sticks do when you throw them into the sky? It's like a torpedo being shot into the air and it's an amazing effect. Makes me think about my youth, where I used to bully popsicle sticks all the time. In fact, you know what? This game is kind of like a metaphor for bullying popsicle sticks. Because, just like how I'm- Ooh, new CG. But, you know, just like how I used to bully popsicle sticks, in this game I'm bullying shapes that probably taste like strawberry and or grape. Because let's be honest, no other flavor of the fruit alphabet matters. Whoa, did you see that square? I mean, triangle? It, like, bounced all over the place. Urgh. I have to get the other CGs or else my life is meaningless because I have OCD. This game's alright. I can't imagine myself playing this game that much because, one, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to actually do except, like, match things together. Yay! Oh, it worked! Wow, I destroyed it. This makes me sad because destruction is always a terrible thing, even when it's done to shapes that are metaphorically supposed to represent popsicles. Yes. Just like... Up, oh, I lost. Okay. So, let's see. The girl, the bunny girl showed up. You know, the bunny girl actually has similar art style to the one used for uh, Scarlet with Rhapsody and Immaterial Missing Power. Both games that which are created by Toho Man Zoon. And, you know what? He probably had the same artist as this game to do those from. But, um... Let's see, I almost have all of them! Oh man, I just need to pl play one more time! Alright, so, what do I talk about? Well, uh, during this week, my cousin Jeffrey came over and he's like chilling out with us. And we're, we do what we do best, be neglectful people and not do much with him, except, well actually, I've done a few things with him. I introduced him to some of the commentators I listen to, like PewDiePie and Uber Hexer Nova, which everybody watches. And I also introduced them to my personal favorite Let's Player, Big Dip on a Bus. Actually, you know what? I don't, I don't think I have. I like He saw like a brief moment of him, and I was like, oh yeah, this, this guy's great! Even though sometimes he doesn't always have stuff to say, or he does terrible editing. But he's great! I promise! And you know what? I stand by that. Big Dip on a Bus is awesome, and if you don't agree, then obviously you have a pineapple up your nipples. And oh my god, the sad face of the bunny girl. I am so sad for her because I made her sad. Look at her. Isn't that a face you want to hug? I want to. I also want to steal that hat. All right, so there's this. And did I get them all? Yeah, yeah, I've beaten the game. All right, thank you all for watching. That was the first episode of Request Orama Week 2. So I hope you brace yourselves for an amazing adventure with Marky Joe 1990 and all of his imaginary friends like Scott. All right, so I actually did manage to figure out how to play this game sort of. All right, so these blocks down here are blocks that well, when you touch them nothing will ever happen. The blocks that are falling are the ones that when you hit them with a white square, they light up, and then when they make contact with, I think, the shapes that match the same color, uh, then they disappear and you gain points, and I think, health. Alright? And, alright. This is gonna be a little tricky though, cause, okay. How do I make those two disappear? I guess that way. Um, I'm actually gonna play this for real this time, because now I know how to sort of play it. Um, whoops, I didn't mean to touch that one. I'm gonna knock that out of there. And I screwed up. Okay, well, there's always a way to recover from damages such as that one. Okay, you're gonna fall over here. No, 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 I don't want you to- No, damn it. Okay, well, either way, I didn't play that well, but I, at least I got a better score than before. That's basically how you play as far as I'm concerned. And... After you get those five CGs, you get, like, an ending right here. It's got creepy music. 
I'm gonna be quiet for most of this because I don't know what's actually happening. I'm sure someone will be able to translate. Probably not. This music's kind of repetitive. Oh man, so many ellipses. Must be a horror thing. Yeah, I was told that uh, somebody on the forum that I downloaded this from mentioned that sometimes that bunny girl will have, like, no eye sockets and just blood dripping down from them, but I didn't experience that. So I don't know what, where that came from, but it probably doesn't matter anyway. Oh man, there was a whole bunch of ellipses there. And... up oh, there we go. I guess that's the end in Japanese. Anything else? Nope! Okay, well there you go. That's how you play the game. Sorry most of the video is me just not knowing what to do whatsoever, but like, the game had no in instructions and I'm obligated to do these blind, so... Anyway, thanks for watching. Market Joe 1990 signing out. Oh yeah, just one more thing. I decided to include these five CGs that you unlock in each playthrough, just in case somebody knows how to unlock them, and just for the sake of, you know, showing everything about the game. Um, if anybody can translate this text, let me know, and I'll put it in the annotation so that other people can read it. Hooray! And then it'll be awesome. Uh, and if you can translate the ending, that would also be cool. Thank you.